Hey, welcome back to the Mods YouTube channel. My name's Michael. We're here at the Museum of Discovery and Science. Today we're gonna to show you how to make your own straw rockets. Welcome to the hangar here at the Museum of Discovery and Science. I'm joined by one of our Mods makers, Becky. Hi. Welcome back, Becky. How are you? Well, I'm fantastic. I'm looking at what we have here. These look very simple things, but you have a rocket, I assume, in your hand? Tell me what we're I doing do. today. I do. We're making slingshot rockets today, and they have all the rocket parts. They have a nose, they have a body, and they have fins. I feel like I'm going to get in a lot of trouble doing this, but go ahead. Show me, show me how this works. Okay. Did you know these can shoot almost 100 feet? Oh, I don't know if that's safe for our, our people at home. How Make about sure. inside? Inside. Okay. You can do it inside or outside. So we're going to be using our slingshot. It's really important on how you shoot it. I'll go into that more later but it goes pretty dang far. This is gonna be fun. Okay. All right, so tell me what supplies that I can find in the house to do this. Okay, so you're gonna need a popsicle stick, but if you don't have any in the freezer that you can eat up and get, you can use a twig from outside or, any, or a wooden spoon, anything you can attach a rubber band to. Okay. You're gonna need a straw. We at the museum like to use paper straws, but you can also use, um, Plastic straws or ones from McDonald's or some place that you go. Plastic straws not as environmentally friendly though as the paper straw. Right. You're going to need a rubber band. You can use an eraser, but if you don't have an eraser, you can use some tape to kind of cushion the end. Okay. And then you're going to need a launcher. We here use brads, unless you're young and then you call them brass fasteners. <laughs> I did not know that. <laughs> or if you don't have that, you can use a paper clip. So, and then the last thing you're gonna need is an index card, some scissors, and tape. I like to use masking tape, but if all you have is scotch tape at your house, that'll work too. Okay. So let's start by making our slingshot, okay? Okay. So the first thing you're gonna do is get your, um, no cheating, Michael, <laughs> come on, make it with me. Oh, you're missing a rubber band. It's okay, so okay. I'm gonna use this one. You can show them how to make it on your end. So what I do is I take a piece of tape and I put it onto the um, popsicle stick, and then I put the end of the rubber band at the very tip. Do you see that? I do. And then I put it over. Oh, what an ingenious way to make an easy launcher. Right, and then because I'm scared, I like to add a little extra tape so that the tape doesn't fly off. So a little reinforcement goes a long way. Here. Right. Awesome. So. Okay, so we're all ready with our launchers. Okay, great Next, launcher. Next, we're gonna make our rocket. So okay. take your rocket body. Got it. You're going to add your nose cone, which is the eraser, onto it. So it's kind of like putting an eraser on a pencil. Right, but here in the makerspace, my rule is more tape. Ah. So we're gonna add some more tape. So take some of your scotch tape here and we're going to tape this eraser onto the straw. Okay. Okay. So that way when it hits your wall or your brother or your sister, it won't hurt. <laughs> Preferably a wall. Okay. I know how you all are. Okay. okay. Are you there? I'm, I'm there. Okay. So um, if you have a brass fastener or brad, we're going to bend it. So it has a little hook to it. Okay. And if you're going to do your... Um, paper clip, you're going to bend it so it has a little hook to it. One or the other so that you can okay. take your launcher. So this is going to be what goes into oh, the launcher. So this is our attachment point. Got yes. it. Okay. Okay. So we are going to take some tape because you know the rule in the maker space is we, always we more tape. We tape. More tape. <laughs> okay. And do you see where I'm putting it just below the eraser? Yes. Okay. And we're going to twirl that around. And my brads always fly off. So I like to put a little extra tape because <laughs> I don't want them More flying off. More tape is good, huh? Okay. So do you see where I'm putting the tape on top so that it cannot, so when it flies, it hits the tape. Oh, okay. So I'm making like a little wall for the Okay, I'm gonna follow suit with you. What's next? Okay, so next we need to make some fins. So... How many fins? Well, it really depends on you and where you wanna place them. Okay. So, I take an index card and cut it into four parts. Okay, but you can be, you could Four squares, four circles. I like triangles, but it's whatever you like. You could be 
uh, creative with this part. And then what, how I attach them, and if you need to, you can have some parent help you at home, but I like to put the tape half on the index card and half off. Okay. And now you get to choose where you want to put them. Do you like wings or fins better? I like fins. Okay, I'm gonna put some wings then. Okay. So I'm going to place them here in the middle where the wings would be. But if you're gonna do fins, place them at the back end. Okay. Okay, and you can put anywhere from two to five or six on here. Is Just there an optimal number? Is there like a great number that's gonna make sure it flies the best? Usually three to four work the best, okay. but you can do you can do you. One of the things about the makerspace here at the museum is we allow you to be creative. I like that. Because I, like I don't that. want you to have to do a, the same project that everybody else does because then your mind doesn't get expanded. Okay. So, alrighty. A little free thinking, I like it. Okay. Yeah, so I have three wings on mine, but I'm gonna show you how to launch it because it's very important. Okay. So in your left hand, you're gonna put your launcher and you're gonna hold it in a fist. What if I'm right-handed, does that matter? This is <laughs> no, right-handed. Okay. Okay. So in your left hand. Oh, got it. Okay, I, can, I, I know the I difference. I said left. <laughs> okay, hey, go ahead. You can look. It makes an L. Okay. <laughs> so then what you're going to do with this is take your launch point and uh -huh. put it in there. Now okay. you must hold it from the very back, okay? Because if you hold it in the middle, it won't launch. Okay. So you're going to put your back, your back, and then if you can see, there's got to be an angle so it flies over the top of yours, and then you can launch it. Fantastic. So it's a I feel great like it's a way. lot of fun to have. It's a good lengthy project. So thank you for joining us. Hope you enjoy. Have fun making this at home. Bye. We want to thank the Layton family and Citrix for sponsoring this video. If you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe below.